Linda, if, if I could could go back to one of the comments earlier around both the challenge and and how we we've, we've uh, responded to it, in particular around the issues of of injustice. I think what what this pandemic has done is it amplified the already existing problems, challenges, and inequities that we had, but it also accelerated our response. Because as you identified earlier, we were already working in some of these spaces already, but perhaps not to the in the pace of a emergency response. So we're doing everything under emergency uh, operations, which is which is very rapid, and sometimes it's too rapid. But we, we have to be responsive. So, for example, the issues around equity. Uh, what we what we've done is now it allowed us to really formalize our um, divert, uh, our chief equity officer uh, in formalizing that position in the organization, as well as uh, launching. Uh, greater uh, community engagement around equity. And we've just approved four, well, we've approved two contracts around diversity and equity training, both internally, but also allied training within the community, as well as creating more cohorts so that we can experience uh, not only the need to be culturally aware, but also really solving problems practically together. But if I look at other areas, it not only amplified the need, for example, on small business, um, it, the impacts and, and, and the challenges small business already have, but it accelerated the need for us to be creative, particularly on the resale side and uh, develop social zones. Or on public safety, it amplified the existing dis, uh, disparities with people of color, interaction with law enforcement, but it accelerated our response in order to work with some of our community-based organizations, particularly those who work around civil rights to make sure that we reform our department or in the park system. It amplified uh, you know, the, the, the weaknesses that we have with indoor spaces, but it accelerated our response to make sure that our parks were accessible. We had, a, we had the most demand for park services that we've ever had because we recognize that you know, outdoor engagement is safer than indoor confinement. So, so I think you know, with, with COVID, we we've it, it's 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 a curse and a blessing and i i don't want to make light of, of the challenges and, and and how morbid it is but i do want to I, I remain hopeful because i think as a city in every way we've met the challenge and uh even in 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 staffing you know you know i i, I had a hiring freeze but there are some positions that i still have to be able to bring on an organization for the continuity of services of the public, I didn't know how, how we're going to be able to do it in COVID. But we we realized how to become more efficient and effective as an organization, like many other employers are doing. And so, I, I, I'm 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 taking that as hope for the future that we as a city and as a state, as a country, we will figure this out. We will get through this. And um, it gives me courage. I got a mayor who is as tough as nails. Uh, I've never seen anybody uh, as resilient as she is. And I think her resiliency is a reflection of the resiliency in our community. Now, we're not perfect. And uh, we're not perfect, certainly not perfect as a city organization, governmental institution, uh, and, 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 and not perfect in any manner. But I think we are getting better. Um, we're, we, this pandemic is it, as strange as it may sound, it is making us better than where we were before we went in it.